Hello Tender Router fans, this is Paul, one of the techs from Micro Center, and today we're going to take a look at the wireless N300 Easy Setup Router, model N301. Today we're going to take a look at how you would set that up to your wireless network. Let's get started. Alright, so first let's take a look at the N301 Tender Router. First you've got uh, a huge antenna on either side of the router. You've got a power connection, a WAN port, which, is, which means it's the one that comes from the modem. You've got three other ports for, uh, for computer connection. And then you've got the WPS button or the reset button. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take the power and plug it into the power connection. Next step is you take the Ethernet cable that is currently running from your modem to your computer, take it out of the back of your computer, and plug it into the one port that's different. Uh, if you can, usually it's a different color, but in this case it's not a different color, so you actually have to read what it says. And it says WAN, as in Wide Area Network. So we take the Ethernet cable that's running from your modem to your computer and you plug it into the WAN port. So then you can see you've got three other ports. So you can run each of those to hardwire a computer onto your network, or of course you can use the wireless and you wouldn't be restricted by three. So you take another Ethernet cable and you plug it into into one of the other ports, doesn't matter which one um, it doesn't go in order, you could put it in three, two, or one it makes no difference. So then you take the other end of the Ethernet cable running from one of the numbered ports on the router and you plug it into the Ethernet port on the back of your computer like so. Alright, the next steps take place within the computer so let's move on over there Okay, so once your hardware is set up, we want to go ahead and open up a browser and go to 192.168.0.1. This will bring us to the, to the login screen on your Tender Router. By default, unless you've changed it, the username and password will, would both be admin, A-D-M-I-N, lowercase, and then hit OK. Now your internet connection time typically is going to be DHCP. DHCP means that your IP address is dynamic, means that it changes on a predetermined basis. Your, your ISP would actually change that. Uh, the only other thing you may have, you may have a, uh, a static IP address, but you would be paying extra for that and most, most uh, customers out there aren't going to have that. It would be more of a business requirement. So from here, go ahead and click on Advanced and it will take us in. OK, we'll also do the same thing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, you'll see everything is blank in here, you'll want to go down and click on refresh, and that will actually go out and um, uh, pull that information from your internet service provider. So once it pulls up that information, you are actually on the internet as I'm going to show you now. Alright, as you can see we're on the uh, Micro Center Tech Support website, so we are actually connected to the internet. So. All right, so that's how to get the Tenda 301N router on the internet. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.